Hey guys, DJ Ross here, and I'm back with another video. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a long time. Um, I just haven't posted. So what I'm doing is I am doing a review on the SNR 357, which is the latest dual ammo BB gun and pellet gun. But first things first, you need to know your gun rules, so check that out. weapon as if it were loaded. Alright, the next rule is never point at anything you don't intend to shoot. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you're ready to fire. And the last one is keep your weapon on safe until you're ready to fire. T N K K. Treat every weapon as if it were loaded. Never point at anything you don't intend to shoot. Keep your finger straight off the trigger until you're ready to fire, and keep your weapon on safe until you're ready to fire. All right, guys. So now that you know your safety rules, let's get on with the video. It's about time. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the gun. I got this for my birthday. While well, I bought it, I saved up some money, and. Or, Good tip is every time you get money, split it in half so you don't have to worry about it later in college if you go. All right, so yeah, I said I bought it with the, or with my money for my birthday. And so yeah, so what this is, is a dual ammo BB and pellet gun, which means, um, we can get this out here. Let's get one or a couple. Which means it can shoot two types of ammo, BBs and pellets. So those are BBs. And this is the pellet. Oh, yeah. oh my God. All right, so. All right, guys, so this is the BB and this is the pellet holder. You can tell because this one is metal and it's all the way metal. And right here you can tell like the tip is a little rubber brown. So that's how you know it's BB if you ever get this gun. And as you can see here, the hole, that one's smaller so it's smaller BBs. And I am assuming you put the BB through here because there's a rubber part here. And in the video he put it through the front. It's V for Victor, you should check him out. And back here is where you put the pellets because it's the rubber right there. So that's pretty cool, and I want to go over how you load it. It's a revolver, so you guys most likely would know, but how I load it is I grab one bullet at a time, and I put it in each slot. So I put about three in, and then I just twist it to the other side. It's really cold. So yeah, and I also want to talk about just going into visualizing it, how you contact the CO2 cartridge or where you put it in is right here. So at the grip handle, it is this is all plastic and the gun is metal. So what you do is you just pull this back and there's like this twist part where you can untwist, put the CO2 in, close it back and you're done. And also, a quick thing I want to go over, which I really like this, is back here is a twist. And it's basically a quick release, so if I push it, it releases it quicker than if I were going to take it out one by one. Um, always make sure your gun has no way ammo in it. And I also like what they do this with revolvers. It's like a two action. So one with normal guns, let's use this for example. Um, this is my Umarex 40 XP, and with the normal gun, it's just one shot. If you messed up, then you really can't switch it back because it would already be shot. But with this, if you know you want to take the shot, just shoot. And if you are questionable, like if somebody's at your house at night, you hold it back, you're like, who's there, who's there? Less lethal, you know? And um, if you don't want to shoot, you can hold this back all the way, pull the trigger, and move it back slowly. But if you want it to just be faster, you pull it back all the way and pull the trigger. So this is quicker than just try having to travel all that way. 
So yeah, again, the way I reload it is three each slot, flip it over. And in total, it comes with about well, six BB rounds or cartridges and six pellet cartridges. So, you know, if you want, if you're going hunting or something, I'm not sure. If you just want to practice both of them at the same time, you could have three, um, three cartridges filled with BBs and three filled with pellets. So, yeah, that's how it looks with it all in there. And what happens is when the bullet gets released, the hammer gets pulled back and in there is a, um, it, where the hammer hits this and it projects it to go forward. And with the air, it just hits the bullet forward. And I wanna go over what I bought with that. Along, I had a lot of money. I bought these pellets, these .177 caliber. These are hollow points, these are for hunting, but you know. I got this pell gun oil, which I would like to use later on. And you guys are on the target right now. So, well, I bought a target. So yeah, um, let's see. So this weighs, let's say about like two or three pounds. What do you think? Yeah, about maybe four pounds. I like how it's weight, and I said earlier, it's all metal except for the grip. The grip is plastic, but it's really heavy duty plastic, which I like. And um, yeah, I just like how it's all metal and the way it looks. If you could get custom, like if this were camo, I would I would have gotten that. And also, if you want a cool way, is if you push it all the way to the right, um, it's safe. You can't access the trigger or the hammer back here. And if you push it to the, all the way to the left, you can access it, like I said about earlier. And the way to open up the revolver or the holder is you push all the way to the left, if you're doing this one, and then push up through the right side. So yeah guys, that will have our review. I have a couple que or a question. Um, have you guys ever shot in a BB gun? If so, let me know. And if you have, um, which one is your favorite so far? I know mm, one of my favorites I like is this pump action. It's kind of like a sniper, but we took off the scope. And this Red Rider BB gun. And this Umarix 40 XP is really good for practicing. Um, like if you want to shoot down cans and stuff, that's really good for that. And I also purchased these cartridges. So yeah, if you haven't considered subscribing yet, please do that. Leave a like down below and just and just ask questions. Um, please somebody ask, answer my question. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.